violence against women is a global crisis. This year, the United Nations, under the global theme Orange the World, and violence against women now is marking 16 days of activism against gender-based violence from 25th of November to the 10th of December. Violence against women often goes unreported, silenced by stigma, shame, fear of the perpetrators and fear of a justice system that does not work for women. The COVID-19 pandemic with all its isolation and distancing has reportedly enabled more violence against women in recent years. Joining us live is Dr. Taya Thomas, President Widows and Orphans Support Society of Africa. You're welcome to PLOS TV. Thank you for receiving me. So violence against women is still very common even today. In spite of some of the efforts that some people, activists, organizations have put together, even governments, why is it so? Um, the issue with violence is women uh, is the way it is because a lot of women have not been able to come out to speak out and two few that speak out probably are not getting justice to their satisfaction so that is why we are unable to eradicate violence if women can't come out and speak out and say, this is the challenges, this is what I'm facing. A, for example, a woman that is raped in Nigeria find it difficult to come out and say, some gang people raped me, even if she knows them. She will not be able to say it. One, stigma. They look at the stigma. Two, they look at, do, will I be able to get justice? And really, the truth of the matter is, Justice are not really prevailing for few that were able to come out. There are a lot of pending issues on violence against women. This justice not prevailing for those who have come out. Why do you think is responsible for that? Why, why is the, just, the judiciary failing women in this? Well, our system, you know how it is. Uh, sometimes when someone go to the, a woman go, go to the police station to make a report about how she's been violated by a man. The first thing is a lot of questions that will come up. Why do you go? Why do you go with him? You know, why did you go where he is? Or uh, don't you, when you were, I mean, when you were with him, you notice any funny attitude? Why don't you shout? So these are the part of what really make some ladies if i could just come out and say something instead i will get more stigma it will just come in a caricature way so government should have a strong law against people who perpetrate this violence against women there are cases a lot of cases uh, you you've been working with women for some years now uh, through your ngo um, that's Widows and Orphan Support Society of Africa. Now, in doing all that you've been doing, what would you say is the most prevalent of these crimes against women today? Well, the cases the, the, about the widows, mostly, the challenges most of them used to have, that when they lost their husbands, they have the, 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 the family of the, of the, of the man are always interested in taking everything from the woman. Even when they notice that this man has children. There is one going on that we are trying to sort out. It's a very close person of mine. The, the, the husband to the, to, the, to, the, to the man, I mean the brother to the man, mm -hmm. is insisting that he has to take charge because the children are young and she, she, he feels that the, the man cannot manage the world. The wealth of the, I mean, the, the, the woman cannot match. Meanwhile, the woman is educated. This is a kind of violence. The woman is educated. She's, she's well trained. She's, she, 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 she's an educationist. So what give, what, give, what give him the impression that the woman cannot step in to manage the resources while grooming the children? The, the, I mean, and this same brother influence all the other members of the family that we must kick this woman out. 
with her children. Okay, so women are going through all of this. During the pandemic, the lockdown, we learned that so many women, girls, were raped by their fathers. We learned that a lot of divorce cases, you know, uh, were reported mm -hmm. uh, because of violence against women. Um, and now from your answer, it's clear that the judiciary is failing the women. They go to the police, they'll be asked all sorts of questions. And you didn't even add that some will be asked, why did you dress the way you did? Exactly. Uh, and, and such questions. Now, since the women cannot get protection and justice from the necessary organizations that should be proffering, do you have any self-protection tips for women? Of course we have. We have a strong legal unit, human rights, that fight this out for women. All the women that, that we have been unjustly treated, when this case comes to us, we, have, we hand, hand them over to our legal unit to ensure that these women get justice. And they are getting justice. Because the only thing is that when you are helpless and you have somebody to fight for you, you are likely to win a battle. But when you are in a battlefield and you don't have a supportive hand to say no, you know, when they see that uh, an, a woman rights activist who is well in it said, no, this is not right. We have female lawyers who are fighting for these women. Mm. And most we make sure we speak it, we make sure that we get to the root of everything. So women have have seen domestic violence. My, my, my mom, youngest sister, died in my very presence. This is a domestic father. The man was rebel. I was a young lady. I was a very young, young, young little boy. I went for an holiday in my auntie's place. Is that what inspired your NGO? Yes, that's what really inspired. And besides, um, when growing up, I've seen a lot of little widows passing through a lot. Passing through a lot. They, as a, a structural engineer, I've been to a site where, abandoned site where I was to send people away. I got a contract to renovate, to build, and I was in a hurry to send them away because it's a contract I want to. But when I got in there and I discovered that, that very day I was sending them away, I got to the terrace unit, I saw a woman crying uncontrollable. I was trying to pass fire, but I couldn't. I, I, I have to wait and pet her. She opened up and said, look, our house was demolished in a quarter. My husband, when my husband died, that's the house we built. Now, we moved to this uncompleted building, this estate, abandoned estate, to, to, to rest, to stay with my children, two girls, 13 and 16. Unfortunately, that night, those two girls were raped oh. with their mother. Oh my God. And uh, she, when they raped her, they want raped the 16 years. They wanted to rape the lady, the small one, which is uh, 13 years. He was pleading. This one never knew, man. Please come and rape me one more oh, time. God. So, I mean, she said, when she was saying this, I was cold. And I saw, when I, by the time I turned, I saw a little girl covered with clothes. Oh, God. I hope when I discovered that was 13 years old. So we have to rush her, them to the hospital. Then uh, find a way out, get them in a, a new accommodation, and to ensure that uh, life turned up well for them. So we took them to the nearby hospital, the Budo Hospital, my friend hospital mm -hmm. in Aja. So we get them treated, and to the glory of God, they are now doing well. Okay, you, you work closely with the United Nations. And this year, uh, the, the, the global theme is um, Orange the World and violence against women now. Uh, tell us about some of the activities being marked for this year's uh, celebration of uh, the day of, um, to end violence against women. First of all, we will we'll have lecture, awareness for women, that they have their right. They should, all, they should be bold enough to come out to ensure that whatever violence that, that is being pursued is stopped. They should be bold enough to speak out. That lecture is a public awareness. It's a kind of public awareness. It's a kind of public awareness to the women. To say that you, can, you can come out. Nothing will happen. And we, as an agreement, we are behind you. If you cannot go and come to us, we'll take it up. There will be lectures. So tomorrow is taking place awareness. where? It's taking place at Lighthouse Event Center in Zekiaja, that is a bus stop, where we have a redeemed 
Redeemed Christian Church of God, Tabernacle of David. We are having it in that place, live. We have different ceremony. Ceremony will come up. Then those who have really served humanity will be awarded to encourage them to fight, to join us to fight this violence. So we have to encourage them. Then um, we, there will be drama. There will be all kind of uh, activity. Women item too. We we'll sing it to their here. You know, many people don't know that uh, Nigeria we have a women item. Women uh, anthem. Yes, apart from wow. national item, we have women item. That's interesting. Yeah. Do you and know how to sing the it? The content of it. <laughs> well, that would not allow us. Even if you knew how to sing it, I wish you could, you know, sing that. That's the kind of anthem I like to say. Um, now, according to the UN, they are they are going to mark 16 days of activism. Is yours going to be for? This long, you know, between 16th to 10th of December, is yours going to be this long or just tomorrow? No, no. Tomorrow is the grand ceremony. Okay. We are working with UN. Oh, good. We will, we will, we will carry, we will follow them alongside. Okay. We will do it, campaign. We are going to campaign and create awareness that this violence must stop right now. Indeed, it should stop. Yeah. It, indeed, it should Women stop. Women have suffered a lot. It's time for the women to come together and say no. We are not taking it anymore. Yes, we are not taking this thing. And I'm sure we're going to achieve it. Dr. Tayo Tayo Thomas, President of Widows and Orphan Support Society of Africa, is our guest today, taking a look at uh, UN's call for the end of violence against women. It's, it happens every 25th of November to help women have justice and also end the violence against women. Thank you so much for your time Thank and you wishing so you the best for this year's um, celebration we'll, we'll of this. Expecting you. <laughs> yes, I'll be there. I'll be there. I have Thank a foundation you. that that you know caters to women, so I'll be there definitely. That, that's interesting. We can do this thing together. Very then good. Then we achieve brilliant success. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.